Three Houses has to be one of my favorite games to date, mainly due to its story and characters, but a little bit of the unit customization, mainly because you can just make anyone anything. I mean, not to say that you should. I, all, all I'm saying is that it's an option to make a character that has mainly focused on strength within the growths to become a magic character and significantly diminish how well that character performs in battle. Uh... Listen, it's just not a good idea. God damn it. <laughs> With that all out of the way, I welcome you to what is another fucking dumb challenge video where I complete the game only with magic. The whole premise is do done. Let's not waste any more time like I usually do. The rules! Play on the highest difficulty. Why? Because I fucking want to. That's how mainly these challenge videos go. Play classic mode. Basically, I'm just gonna play the game like it's an Iron Man, essentially. I'm just not gonna reset for characters that I don't really want, and I'm just gonna let the characters die that I don't really care about. Number three. Use fucking magic only. It's a simple concept. I don't I don't know why I need to explain this. Why is this in every video ever? It, it it's implicitly accepted that that's going to be a part of the challenge. What the fuck? Anyways, a top of the gameplay. First, we have to create a new save, choosing maddening as our difficulty, choosing classic as the mode. And then I proceed to choose the only gender that will be helpful during this playthrough. And... Skip. Choose Black Eagles as the house. You got me fucked up if you think I'm choosing Golden Deer or Blue Lions with those two. Now I can finally roam free within the monastery. And now I'm going to kindly skip all their dialogues pertaining to these quests. I'm not a fucking lemon. I have way too many hours in this fucking game to know what I'm doing. So... Insert sexual joke. Now we eat out some girls, and then we plant our seed. And now we're finally at the mock battle, or what I like to call, where runs come to die. So while this is going on in the background, I guess I need to explain the choices I made, i.e. why I chose female Byleth and Black Eagles. Well, the answer to one of those is really obvious, and the answer to the other one is kind of a little bit complicated. Not necessarily, but it still bears some explaining. Let's start with female Byleth, of course. Female Byleth, <clears throat> or well, females in general, get access to the Grimori class for a master class where males do not. And considering this is a magic only run, I cannot exactly go into Dark Mage with Byleth. Editor's note, I just now caught this, but um, I'm talking about the um, Dark Knight class here when I'm referring to male Byleth. You can get the Dark Mage class, but I don't really see how that's possible considering we would have to kind of take out the Death Knight. And no one here is able to do so even remotely, so... <laughs> yeah, I just uh, kind of wanted to fix that, because that was a mishap. Also, also one more thing. Um, I know the, the Dark Knight isn't a male-only class. I don't know why I said that later on. Like, it's literally just a few seconds after this. So, please don't flame me for that. I know it's not a male-only class. I know Dark Mage is, but not Dark Knight. Anyways. So, I'm sort of forced to choose female, while I can have the students, aka Hubert, <laughs> which I'm pretty sure is the only male mage that I'm going to be using. Maybe besides Lorenza, even though I don't really like him as a character, but that's beyond the point. I can use the lessons to teach them writing in spears. And why I chose Black Eagles, because this has three fucking mages. That's the easiest one to begin with, and it's the most obvious one. The other ones have two, and I'm already having a feeling that this is not completable as it is. Well, shit. <sighs> 
Why another failure? It's because you suck. Well, thank you for that input, but I already knew that. What are the re what is the real reason why this failed? Well, if you didn't already know, there's three of them. Oh, a variety. Number one, it's it's due to exhaustion. But Johnny, I thought Fire Emblem characters didn't have stamina. That's probably what you're thinking, but no, that's not the reason why. It's not because they have stamina bars. Three House's magic works a little different than older generation Fire Emblem magic. Tomes aren't really tomes, they're more like spells that the character already has on them. And they learned through weapon ranks. You can't just go out and buy another tome. So, first issue is that the magic isn't tradable. So I can't just pass it off to someone else that has a higher magic stat than, well, anyone else. Or just, you know, trade it off and attack with the other characters. That's, uh, that's a big issue, considering... That we kind of need that in order to even really stand a chance. We can we can't even kill one character. I tried multiple attempts on this. It's it's not possible. Everyone has crazy, outrageous, buffed stats because it's maddening, and I already knew this was going to happen. But that's besides the point. Three Houses magic doesn't exactly break. <clears throat> it's not like Shadows of Valentia where HP is used to cast spells, it's more like there's only a certain amount of uses that we can use per map, and that's it. That's, that's just about it for the map. There's nothing else that can really be used from those certain spells. Which brings me into the Grimori standpoint, which I was mentioning earlier. Grimori is a female-only class, like how Pegasus Knight is as well for females only, and War Master is only for males. Well, that and any brawling class as well. So, being a female allows, you know, us to get into that class, which its class ability it allows more uses of black faith and dark magic, allowing us to cast more and not really have to expend that many resources to get a kill. I mean, we're still expending resources. We're still having to use quite a bit, but that's not really something that's going to come into play this early on. That was more of like a late game thought than a early game thought. There's not much we can do this early on. So it's sort of a moot point to mention that, as well as Altered Golems and Altered Demonic Beast. Which will become a whole nother hassle later on if I ever choose to come back to this while using New Game Plus. But speaking of New Game Plus, that isn't really much of an option either. As I stated before, forcing a character that is mainly focused on physical growths into a magic role isn't smart. Then again, Forcing a magic character into a phys into um, using a sword isn't really smart either, but Mortal Savant exists, so fuck if I know anything. And Mortal Savant isn't really that much of a good class anyways when Dark Knight exists. I don't know why Savant is even a thing, but that's that that's semantics. We're arguing semantics at this point. Even with the added addition of New Game Plus allowing us to actually give spells to characters that don't already have them, which I was just only going to get them their first spell and then play through that, but that isn't even relatively possible. I mean, yeah, sure, we would make it farther, but resource exhaustion is still a thing. It's still a problem that needs to be addressed, and we have no way to address it. It's not like how Valentia's magic works, as I stated before, it requires HP to use, meaning we can just heal with vulnerabilities. And it's not even like an MP based thing, it's just there. You just have a certain amount of uses with it. And this early on, it's extremely low, so we're not going to be able to do much with that. Dark mages aren't really much of a solution. Because we that's an intermediate classes, and this is the beginner classes, so we can't really do much there. And even still, there's another point I 
against the New Game Plus in this whole magic thing as a whole. Manuela and Hanuman exist primarily as these giant res tanks, and it is it is abysmal to think, even if I did get past this, that I would have to deal with them. Because this isn't route boss, this is route enemy, leading to major, major issues. We would have to kill everyone, or maybe knock out, we're not exactly killing anyone here, this is a mock battle after all, which would lead to, you know, resource exhaustion again, I know that's redundant to say, but I still need to think, but I still should keep reiterating that point so I can hit it home a lot more, that this is a major problem, and it's not something that can be reasonably solved with just throwing more shit on the mix. Now, if I made all of them have, like, the highest tier of black magic, then yes, maybe it's possible. But the issue is, though, is that I am not going to sit here and fucking grind out S-rank fucking magic for everyone. That's, that's not what I'm doing. I was originally going to do the whole New Game Plus thing and show why that wasn't possible instead of just fucking talking about it. But, uh, that's, that's a lot of work to do for a video that will more than likely only get 10 views, so that's, that's, that's that. And it's also one of the reasons why this video took so long, excluding my Terraria adventures with two people. And now that is coming to a close because a certain person just doesn't want to play anymore because of a certain biome not being in the game. Woo. That's, that's, uh, that's a whole other point that I don't want to get into. I feel like there's another point that I should be- oh yeah, there is. Um, le I was going to use Levin Swords and Magic Bows towards when I was able to use those. Because they scale off magic, and the commenter said, Can beat three houses using only magic, and those count as magic because they scale on magic. They don't scale off strength, they scale off magic, and they do magic damage. So, that is an exception for a sword and a bow that we could use. And I think that's about it. There's not really much that I can really complain about, I mean, not complain, but talk about, considering that we only got to the first chapter. I mean, I guess we could talk about some of the other chapters that wouldn't be completable in this sort of environment. Basically, Red Canyon, Death Knights, and... In Gautier Inheritance. Gautier Inheritance is just one of those maps that's just an exhaust, exhaust fest. If you do not LTC it correctly. But considering I'm not the greatest Fire Emblem player. You can check out the two shitty Iron Mans that I did. But I wouldn't. They're pretty bad. But you're allowed to do whatever the fuck you want really. And that's sort of about it. That's the only real th real things that I needed to mention, besides possibly not being able to promote to Dark Knight and Dark Mage, but that's a whole nother discussion for a whole nother time. Yeah, that's, that's about it. I hope you enjoyed. Like if you like, dislike it if you dislike it, sub if you want, I don't care. Peace.